guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Cami is my motivation. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Today's video is sponsored by Miss Great Tea. She sent me this gorgeous 100% Malaysian human hair transparent HD lace wig. It is a 13 by six. It is definitely a silky texture and it is 12 inches. This comes with three cones, one on each side, one in the back, and it does come with an adjustable strap. So I am definitely going gray, but I have not yet um, accepted going gray yet. So these wigs, this is the second wig she sent me. Um, so it's giving me a look into the world of going gray, because as I've stated in previous videos, I am no longer dyeing my hair black. Um, I usually lose, use a little spray, but for the most part, I'm just trying to embrace going gray. There will also be a link in the uh, description box of the previous wig that she sent me, which is a headband wig in gray. It is a, a coily texture. So definitely check that out. So if you're like me and you're going gray and you want to just kind of see what you're going to look like with a full head of gray hair, or maybe you're already gray, but you don't really like dealing with your gray hair, definitely check out Miss Gray T. I think you will find something that you would like. Definitely like this video or the headband wig, which is definitely an easy fix. You can throw it on, take it off every day. So like I said, check that um, video out in the links in the description box. So let's get into this video. So I'm not going to um, do the ball cap method, seeing that I'm not going to leave this wig on today. So I'm just going to, um, I'm going to definitely use um, my Ebine spray to adhere the wig, but I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to do the uh, ball cap method and all that. Okay. So it is a little big for my, I don't have a really big head. I usually wear a medium sized cap, but it is definitely big, big head friendly. Okay. So I will definitely have to trim a little bit off of the, um, the, the sides to make it fit my head, but it's definitely big head friendly. So this is gonna be some lace adhesive spray. This is from the Frontal Queen. I'm gonna be using this. And I'm just gonna go around the perimeters of my um, hairline. All right, so I'm gonna do a couple layers and in between each layer, I'm gonna use my fan to dry the layers. So like I said, I'm not leaving this wig on. Um, so I'm not doing the ball cap method. I'm not adhering it to stay on permanently, but I did just want to kind of just show you what I use in the process to um, do the wig install. So it's not really a wig install tutorial, but I just wanted you to see that I am actually installing the wig for this video. I did not go in and pluck or tweeze or anything to the hairline, which you definitely could but I'm not doing any of that. If you would like to see some of that or like to see me do that, I can definitely do a video on that for you. So I always like to adhere the, the, um, the middle part first and then I do the sides.
So basically once I spray and then I lay the lace down, I take the comb and kind of comb it through. Applying slight pressure. All right, we're gonna take the elastic band and we're gonna tie it around so we can melt, melt that hairline. some of that excess glue or spray all right so we're back as you can see I've done my eyebrows I've put down one eye and I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place eye primer shade one And of course, my, my favorite thing of all, this is my eyeshadow tape. I like to use this to catch eye fallout. Like I said, we've cleaned up some of the excess uh, glue and I've went ahead and uh, prepped my face. So we definitely wanna protect all of that goodness from the fallout because if you don't, then you're gonna end up having to wipe and wash your face again. And then you're gonna have to reapply all of your goodness, which means your moisturizer, um, your primer, anything that you've used to prep your face for your foundation. So we want to protect all that by using the eyeshadow tape. Now for me, I'm applying um, eyeshadow primer because I find that it, um, my eyeshadow goes on better as well as it it, um, it gives gives the look that I'm going for because sometimes when I don't use a primer my color does not I doesn't I don't get great color payoff if that makes sense and also when you use your primer it's a way when you apply it you can put it on there kind of helps shape the look the shape you're going for as far as your eyeshadow if you're doing a cut crease if you want an angled look or or just however you're trying to have your eyeshadow look this is a way to kind of when you put your primer on you want to put it on the way you want your eyeshadow to be on so i hope that makes sense 
and I'm not going for a big dramatic look because the star of the show, of course, is going to be the wig. So I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Born to Run. This is an old palette. I've had it for a while. Um, and I, I don't know if it's still available or not. All right, I'm going to go in with this color. And I want to lay down my transition shade. So the color I'm going in with is going to be the um, Accelerate. And I'm going to go over my lid. And I'm using a blending brush, a medium sized blending brush. And remember, as always, you tap your color in and then you blend it. All right, so now I'm gonna go into the Stranded shade. And I'm gonna use this to go on, on my brow, my brow bone. So now I'm gonna go into my Longwear Gel Eyeliner. This is by Music Flower. All right, I'm gonna go in with a flat brush. And so I'm gonna apply this where I want my black color to go, my black um, matte eyeshadow to go. And this just um, deepens the black for me. And this is a trick that I uh, learned from Maya Galore. I love her. She doesn't do a lot of makeup uh, tutorials like she used to. But of course, if you go back in some of her older videos, you can definitely see her doing a lot more um, makeup tutorials. But I'm going to go in with this uh, the black gel liner. And then I'm going to apply the matte black eyeshadow over top. Right now I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush and go into my favorite matte black. If you've been watching my videos, you know this is definitely my favorite black shadow, eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna tap it in over top of the gel uh, liner. And I'm holding the brush at the very end and I'm just tapping it in, blending it out. Tapping it in, blending it out. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with that blending brush and I'm just gonna go right over the edge just to kind of blend it out a little bit so we don't have a harsh line. So I'm not adding any more color. I'm just go using my same pencil brush and blending brush and I'm just going back and forth until I get the look I want. So now I'm going in on my uh, bottom my liner. I'm sorry. Last week I was a little under the weather. I'm still recuperating, so please forgive me um, if I'm stumbling a little bit. I'm not 100%, but I'm definitely getting there. So 
So I'm just tapping more matte black color on my eyelid and I on my eye, my liner. I'm using the um, black eyeshadow. That's what I was doing previously. I couldn't seem to get those words out. <laughs> eyeshadow tape and we do have a little bit of fallout that we got to kind of get but with the eyeshadow tape like I said you prevent so much of it from getting all down on your face you may sometimes have to go in and get it around in the in the corners or something like that so I'm just gonna go in with my Garnier skin active uh, cleansing water like I said it's very gentle it's good for your face your lips your eyes even if you have sensitive skin and I just use a um, a towelette, a clean towelette. Put a little of that on there and I just go in there and clean up a little bit. But you don't have to do as nearly as much as you would if, if you hadn't used the eyeshadow tape. So I'm going to go in with my Stay Matte Primer by Rimmel. So I'm going to apply this under the eye because if you've been following me, then you know I like to go under my eye with um, some setting powder. This kind of helps with my uh, deep inset eyes. So I go in with the um, color coffee. And these are my Beauty Supply eyelashes, <laughs> and they're a 5, 5D Broadway. And these are available from my local Beauty Supply. All right, guys, and as I said before, I am not quite a professional at applying my lashes. So I'm still working on my technique. So um, forgive me if I get out of frame a little bit, but I've got my head in my mirror so I can apply them. Um, so I don't really try to show you guys how to apply them because I'm not perfect at it at all. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I'm going in my tear ducts with that um, stranded color from the same Born to Run uh, palette from Urban Decay. Like I said, I really want to just try to keep this look simple considering that I'm using the gray wig, which is really the star of the, of the video. Um, if you follow me, then you already know I do dramatic uh, makeup transitions. So I'm basically showing you how I achieved the look that I did on my TikTok or, or my Instagram, depending on which one you you uh, watch. But both my handles, my handle is Cami is my motivation on all my platforms. So definitely go over there on one of those or both and check me out. And if you don't follow me, please follow me. Leave me a comment. Let me know that you're from um, my YouTube channel, you came over, you know, to check me out. And so, yeah, I'm just showing how I achieved that look. So I'm going to spray my face, which is what I like to do in between each step. I like to just go in with my setting spray. To me, um, I do think this works. This is something I learned from Jackie Ina. It just kind of helps keep your makeup in place, keeps it from moving around throughout the day. So when, as you apply, every, after each step, go in with your setting spray and spray. Alright, so this is Il Maquillage Black Ink Liner. And I'm really not doing anything major, I'm just kind of going in my waterline with it um, because I already have used the black eyeshadow. Um, as far as my liner, but I just wanted to go in my on my waterline with that and I found that a little bit easier to do using um, the ink liner And just kind of touching up my brows a little bit Right, so now I'm getting ready to do my my foundation. So I'm going in, of course, with my Rimmel primer, and this is the, it is the Stay Matte Mattifying Primer. So I'm trying to be careful and not go up under my eyes because I've already applied the setting powder up under my eyes. So I'm trying not to, I'm trying to be careful and not <laughs> wipe up under my eyes. All right, and of course, this is my favorite Ease Drop Shade 22 by Fenty Beauty. This is like a tint for, um, it's not a um, full coverage, you know, at all. This is really light. It's just a tinted, I say tinted moisturizer. And I, I like this, especially for the spring and summer. Like I said, I'm here in Texas, it gets very hot. So this is not heavy. 
Um, I like this. It just gives me a more um, finished look without it being, uh, how can I say it? Because some people, some people love full coverage makeup and I do too, but um, I don't always want to wear it. I usually try to save that for an event or an occasion or something like that. But for everyday wear or even just for me doing my transitions, I just like to use this. And it still gives me a smooth coverage. Um, I don't have bad skin, so I'm not going to get on here in front and be like, you know, I have bad skin. I don't. I do have a few blemishes here and there. Um, so for me, I think this works well for every day, but definitely use whatever works for you. But if, you know, just something light or just say you're running some errands and you just don't really want to put on a heavy coverage, definitely check out Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop. Right, so I'm going to go into my Juvia's Place Chocolates palette. And like I said, I use, I multi-purpose <laughs> my palettes. So I'm going to use this to do my contour, the dark shade. Right, I'm gonna go into Born This Way. This is pretty much my favorite concealer. Like I said, it's multi-purpose. Um, this is the shade Toffee. You can use it to conceal, contour, highlight, or retouch. And it is considered to be a super coverage. Um, I use mine, of course, for concealing and highlighting. Okay, so I'm going to just spray my uh, wedge and I'm going to blend out my concealer.
one. So now I'm gonna go into my Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is in the shade medium deep. And again, I only set my um, my uh, concealer with my powder. I do not bake. I like to apply it and blend it in. I do and, and not let it sit. I just don't think it's a necessary step for me. And as I always tell you guys, make sure that you're blending everything well. Blend it out. So now what I'm doing is taking the butt of my blender that I use to apply my um, Fenty uh, tint, which is foundation basically, and I, I am blending. I'm blending. I'm merging everything together seamlessly. So I, so it's like where I have my concealer where I have my contour, where I have went in and set my concealer. I want to take that butt of my blender and just blend everything together. So I don't have any harsh lines. So you don't see where the where the setting powder started, where it ended. You don't see where the contour started, where it ended. You just want to kind of blend all your edges. You see how I'm kind of going around that and I'm blending. This is like the most important step of your makeup process, blending everything out. Please do not do not um, rush to do this part. If nothing else, make sure you take the time to blend. So I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place Bronze Bronzy in Deep Dark. And I'm gonna go in the lighter color and I'm gonna contour around my nose, just a little, little light contouring. So I'm gonna add a little more color back in um, from where I contoured. So I'm just taking, um, like I said, I multi-purpose everything that I have. So I'm just going in there and just adding a little color. Now I'm gonna go in, of course, everybody knows this is my favorite blush pa uh, palette to add my blush. And Remember, and I tell you all this, Juvia's Place, all their palettes are very pigmented, so be careful when you're applying. Um, I sometimes forget and I'll go in and I'll put it on, but it's okay, it's okay, everything's fixable. But remember, just warning, they're very pigmented, so be careful when you are applying. Um, Cause sometimes I get forget and I go in and I apply and I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, but everything's fixable. Everything is fixable. It is just makeup. So you can always go back over it um, with a, um, a sponge to try to, you know, remove some, blend it out. But yeah, you can see it's very pigmented. I was a little heavy handed, but it's okay. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. So you go in with your spray, which also kind of helps melt everything in, but yeah, as you can see, yeah, still, I'm gonna have to fix it. <laughs> so I'm gonna give myself a heavy spray and hopefully 
everything melts in a lot but whatever doesn't I'm gonna fix it all right so I've removed my elastic band I use my flat irons to kind of touch up my curls it already came curled um, I did I changed my part I did a side part and I went in with some of my powder to um, make my part a little bit more um, pronounced And so I just went in with the flat irons and just did added some curls to it. Then I don't know if you can tell, I did go in and kind of blend some of my uh, everything out and, and um, tapped in uh, with my um, beauty blender to get rid of some of the excess powder and the um, blush. <laughs> so I'm going in with a little lip liner. This is like a dark wine color. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with the Dose of Color. This is the color Penny. This was a collaboration with Miss Nima Tang, the beautiful Miss Nima Tang. All right. And I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty, uh, Fenty Glow Gloss over top of that. And so I really like this wig. It kind of shows me what I'm gonna look like once my hair really turns gray. Um, I think it turned out cute. I like it. So if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget if you're not already, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and definitely leave me a comment. Let me know what you, what you think about this beautiful wig from Miss Gray T. And like I said, in the description box, there is going to be a link to a previous video that shows the Quali uh, headband wig. But yeah, I think this turned out really nice. I think I look like a sexy glamour. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments.